good evening beloved uh, once again and uh, of course this is a uh, very pleasant evening for all of us and of course here in the worship we need to listen to our lord so let us take this time to listen god's word from the scripture and also let god help us to contemplate his words in our daily uh, lives and really i'm thankful to god for this wonderful opportunity to be here uh, with you this evening and also i thank uh, the presbyter and chairperson of uh, the pastorate dr benjamin in braj and the secretary treasurer and the pastorate committee members and of course to you all and also i bring greetings from church of south india very particularly uh, from the csi ems support office ems csi church of south india we all know and we have a very good relations with the ecumenical organization called evangelical mission in solidarity it's uh, uh, situated in uh, stuttgart uh, germany we have uh, more than 50 years of relations with them and they are supporting a lot of programs in church of south india the entire the church of south india and also we have very good partnership you know mission partnership uh, uh, both in ems and uh, in uh, csi so i am privileged uh, to be here uh, today the uh, topic the given topic is much complicated one uh, baptism uh, every year uh, you know uh, we are meditating uh, on this uh, topic and uh, we have a lot of uh, doubts on this and uh, we debate we argue and uh, we, we may think a lot of uh, no uh, disputes on the method of uh, giving uh, baptism so i wanted to give you few clarification and also some thoughts to ponder in future uh, so the topic uh, from the church of south india is uh, baptism dying and rising up with christ dying and rising up with christ this is the topic today so as i said i will not take much time but at the same time i wanted you all to think uh, little uh, you know hard and uh, in deeper man so firstly if you look at the old testament uh, uh, part genesis chapter 7 the well known passage we all know the noah's uh, ark and noah's life so a uh, theologian connects with that so the baptism is an act of celebrating god's grace act of celebrating god's grace in other word we try to understand what baptism really means to us the noah's story a prehistoric story that we know and uh, it is a, a parabolic uh, uh, event you know to uh, to understand the real act of god's immense love so noah's ark and uh, the life of noah and his family so how we connect the baptism and noah's ark very simple you know very simple uh, a person is mentioning this i just wanted to uh, read that for nova and his family and all other living beings in the ark was like death and resurrection experience death and resurrection experience i think baptism is really means that you no know? death and the resurrection we have to die for our sins and we have to rise with christ so that is the real idea and all reformed churches we accept baptism is one of the sacraments and and this is very important sacrament for all of us uh, so uh, when children uh, born in our family uh, we are very particular uh, of giving baptism to our children right so we fix date and we discuss lot of things uh, and uh, you know due course the baptism the sacrament is becoming uh, 
become a name giving ceremony instead of uh, uh, it gives a lot of uh, theological inputs and also non baptism means uh, literacy right uh, so we use uh, other way also to study right so uh, i want here you all uh, to think what baptism means for us and i take baptism in my early early childhood maybe three months or so six months or a year but still when i come to the church and when i confess myself at the time of uh, confess i have to rethink that i have to go back to the time of baptism which my dad and mom told about what is baptism and they hold the responsibility till i can form the church right that some the church takes in goes we are uh, not so until that every day my parents are telling me that that is the we have to die for sin and we are raised with christ how jesus died for sinners and how we rise from the dead and is living christ so my dear beloved you just come at the experience Every Sunday or every time when we come first, we can think of baptism, the sacramental experience which we have inside you and the time of all of it. That I am dying, I have to confess for sin and I can rise with Christ's strength. It is God, I mean Jesus Christ is living with us still. <coughs> so, what kind of experience we can understand from Noah's pre-historic uh, story? And also, uh, I wanted to uh, a quote from Saint Augustine, the early church father. Uh, it's about the method of uh, baptism. Okay. Uh, so there is the baptism and the uh, first baptism. the uh, infant baptism other than baptism so we have many methods to follow the sacrament in our church so the nice says uh, of course we are using water so how to make a simple water the religion has uh, right or rights uh, by using the water for purification but we call it uh, water and the jews the uh, jewish community they are very much uh, particular about uh, observing the uh, uh, proselyte baptism you know proselyte baptism means uh, to get people from a uh, non jews non jewish community so proselyte baptism is uh, a kind of a uh, church or observance of a uh, jewish community so uh, here we the form the churches are in our church of south india Uh, we are using that we are accepting sprinkle as well as uh, immersion that we all uh, know. So water is the outward sign of the city where the city of God. So the next one says, quantity of water is not the criteria for God's grace. That means in that so far we receive the, the grace of God. the love of god to be not uh, uh, i mean after baptism uh, uh, we are not saying that i am eligible uh, for being a full member of the church no that may be the institutional institutionalized church tradition but you know if i say that i am a baptized christian i can say that i receive the inward uh, blessing of god's full grace how oh, god is uh, also graceful i'm always uh, thinking that i don't know when uh, uh, god intended to purge uh, to purify the world from its corruption actually god wanted to renew creation this creation 
Katawang apples, that's why we place the lower sock, we place for the cover. The Kowalik is symbol of Nova's uh, uh, history. So what God wants, or why God wants to redo his creation? Because everything was spoiled because of disobedience. Everything was spoiled because of disobedience. And God wanted to redo. God wants to correct it. That may happen, I can say, that may happen through the sacrament, through baptism. Finally, I want to you to uh, think about I am having uh, more papers in hand to preach, but still, as I said, that I will just point out a few. See, we know that Adam, huh? Adam was the head of the old humanity, huh? old humanity, in and over which sin has won its victory and they established its control, huh? sin. And Christ, Jesus Christ, is the head, the new uh, humanity from which sin has been excluded in shameful defeat. That's what I think uh, we can understand. And uh, I wanted you to understand if we say that I am baptized Christian and uh, I am having the privilege of experiencing Christ even, that Christ experience. My uh, theology, I mean my teacher used to say as Christian, if you call yourself as a Christian, that you should live uh, as God. It's a living God experience. That can be possible when we realize the importance of uh, baptism. And friends, uh, this evening I want you to do one small exercise, okay? It's a finger exercise we do it now to understand the real meaning of uh, Christian, right? Yeah, you please take your fingers. It's a finger exercise, so no need to get up and no need to shake your body even, okay? Only the fingers, okay? You just uh, please cooperate with me. And uh, you know, uh, we usually name all the fingers, right? This may be called little finger, right? Then next one. I want to hear from you. Sorry, ring finger, yeah. Middle. Index. Thumb, okay. Right, in the middle, the middle finger, no, it's little high. Right? So I want to rename this middle finger as ego finger. Okay, ego finger, because it's high, right? And uh, it controls the other uh, small fingers, <laughs> okay. Uh, other little fingers. So, no, it, it is the high, right? So, it has the ego. Okay. So, now what you uh, do, you just close your hands, write this, and you just follow me. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you try to separate the little finger. Yeah, you please all. Yeah. Right. And then the ring finger. Okay, and middle finger or ego finger. Now we relate it, right? Ego. And then index thumb. And this ring finger, no, it's some way connect with relationship, right? So we rename that uh, ring finger as relationship finger. Okay? Relationship finger. Okay? So now we rename two fingers ego and relationship. Okay? Just close your hands together, right? And what you do, uh, the ego finger, no? Just you push down the ego yeah? inside, like this. Okay? You just push down the ego fingers inside. You understand, right? You're done, right? So, ego is now. Underneath, right? Okay. Then you try to separate the thumb finger, index, little, and the relationship. You try. Try, you can't. No, you can't separate the relationship finger. Because the ego finger is 
in the town see my dear friends it's a kind of a christian living or christian togetherness it happens no when we experience the real meaning of baptism when we hide ourselves when we humble ourselves and when we give space to god when we really mean the love of god the god will do wonders we will have that much kind of a you no know, close bond with god and with fellow human beings you know the meaning of ego e g o edging god out edging god out no all this ego huh? the self nature all will come so let us just commit ourselves humble ourselves and let god alone god alone prevail in our lives may god bless us this words amen